Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to explain uh, a new product or describe a new product. And this is mainly to be used in conjunction with a um, Stream Deck. And um, this is just running the normal companion software. Uh, but this thing now is being used with my new T bar controller. So, what this does is it gives you the ability to use an analog control. Um, by um, moving the little T-bar up and down and um, it um, then gives you full analog control of the T-bar so as I move it up and down here you'll see there's the T-bar moving and then moving back down again well I'll come out wide here and you might be able to see it way back here um, there we go T-bar up T-bar down. Now this does all the functions that you would normally do on a T-bar. Uh, and I've added the ability to have cut, a uh, cut button, an auto trans button. Now most people put those on the stream deck, um, but that ties up a button. You know, you might want, you know, want those buttons for other things. But it's built into here, so um, as we hit the cut, um, so I'm just doing that, you can see there's the cut occurring. And I'll come back out here. I'll just put some pictures up here so you can see. There, that little, that what I did here has got the sewing as I do the cut. There you go, there's a cut. You can hear the little click, I hope. And then you can also do uh, auto trains. So I've got a little wipe there so you can actually see it happening. And I hit the auto trains again. Um, now, uh, I'll just explain a few little things about this. This um, cut button is flashing, and what that's indicating is that's indicating that the data is coming to and from the ATEM. Um, and the auto trans will indicate when there's an auto trans happening. Now, that also will indicate even if I actually do a manual trans, I'll come back here so you can see me doing this. This is me moving the, um, the trans loop. You see the auto trans lights come on. So it's, it's giving you feedback from the ATEM. Uh, so you know what it's doing. Uh, I can hit hit the auto trans button here as well. Near the cut button here as well. Um, you can actually um, with this with this um, cut uh, the flashing. If you don't like the flashing, you can turn that off. Uh, and the way you do that is you just make sure you've got the same source on the um, previous your program. And then you can just hold down the cut button and then for a second and then take your finger off. So everything's still working exactly the same, uh, except the light's not flashing. So as you can see here, if I do a do a trans, you can see it's um. <clears throat> let me come back up here so you can see it. There's too many buttons to push here. Oh, wrong button. We want this button. Um, and um, so as I do the trans, you can see it. Oh, see, I look, I've still got the same sources. So I just change the source over here, and then um, as I do the trans, there it is there. Um, now you also might notice that um, there's a little LED on the top on the bottom uh, and these indicate the position of the trans transition so if I move slowly move it you'll see the bottom one will start to glow and the, and the top one will, will slowly die um, as as the transition proceeds so and as I go back the other way it'll do the same thing and of course if I do it on the ATEM itself up here if I'm a cursor again, um, if I do it up here, you'll see the same lights will indicate up here as well. So um, it's giving you um, it's giving you um, an intensity indicating the um, the position of the T-bar. Um, now you might also notice that at the moment the the T-bar down here is at the bottom, and the T-bar up here is at the top. You can you can synchronise those easily by just moving the T-bar down to here, and now we're at the bottom, uh, and now everything you do is um, is all functioning here. Um, but you can also do it by um, again. I'll just switch switch same source here. If you just hold your finger on the cut button and move the T-bar, you can reposition the T-bar without actually altering the position of the the fader here. Um, so. Um, um, so this is a, a relatively simple product um, and subsequently doesn't have very much um, 
setting up to do. Now the trick is with this particular unit, this doesn't use the ethernet. Um, I, there will be another unit coming up uh, a bit more expensive than this. It does the same thing, but it'll actually use the, the ethernet. This, this one uses the RS-422 connector that's on the back of the um, ATEM. So um, whilst your um, Stream Deck is all running through the Ethernet uh, and a PC, this is directly connected purely to the um, RS-422 connector, or as the ATEM calls it, if I go over to settings here, you'll see over here, you click on remote, and you see down here we're using external control via GVG100. So this is actually using the GVG100 protocol that um, ATEM has built into it. Um, we'll come out of that. Um, but some some ATEMs don't have this RS422 connector, and I think it's really only the early TVS. So you won't be able to use this with the um, early TVS unless you use the Ethernet version that I haven't haven't finished yet. But it's basically exactly the same thing. Now, of course. An ATEM Mini doesn't um, doesn't have the uh, RS-422 either, so you can't use this with an ATEM Mini, but you will be able to use the Ethernet version. And the Ethernet version, this unit is is, is going to be under under $200. Um, the Ethernet version is going to be a bit more expensive because it's got to have an Ethernet card. This unit doesn't have an Ethernet card in it. I'm only powering it off um, a USB. You can also power it off on the back here. You can also power it off a, um, a little plug pack for, it goes from 6 volts to 14 volts. Um, I'm also um, making an adapter so you can actually power it um, down the uh, RS-422 connector. Um, so you can actually have the power supply totally away from the main unit. So the only thing you're going to have is just the box and the Ethernet, uh, sorry, the uh, RS-422 cable. Um, so basically there it is so if you've got this stream deck and it doesn't you know you can use the smaller the 16 15 button stream deck or whatever it is um, or this particular unit um, and and there you have your ability to do your um, let's come back out here so you can see the pictures again um, so as I'm doing the um, transitions there's a transition and of course I can uh, go down here and just choose mix which is more more the uh, the normal operation. There there I am doing the mix. Um, what I might do is that I might just show you. Uh, I just do a mix to a color source. I'll just go over here to color. And um, and that way there you, know, you can't see um, pictures flashing underneath your mix. All you will if you. So that's um just basically your analog control for T-Bar using a stream deck.